First out as a three-year-old, he stepped up to a mile and five sixteenths for the D stakes. A shake of the wand and the rivals disappear. Magician just like yesterday gallops off another small performance. This was really impressive. And look at that straightforwardness. His head is bowed low, he's really honest, and he's accelerated right away from a well-regarded horse who was already rated 99, and he's trounced him. Chester happens to be my favorite English racetrack if you can handle those turns at Chester. So I'm always looking at horses that run well at that track for athleticism, for speed, and the ability to, to convert that into American-style racing. Magician dropped back to a mile for the Irish 2000 Guineas and ran out an emphatic winner. It's Magician and Joseph O'Brien out in front, Gale Force 10 running on well, trading leathers next, but up to the line. It's Magician who's going to win it. Magician, a ninth Irish Guineas for Aidan O'Brien. A freak accident saw him miss much of the season, but Magician again showed his class and devastating turn of foot off a nearly five-month layoff in the Breeders' Cup turf. Magician is trying to come late. It's the few who get front close to home. On the far outside, Magician with a late bid, and Magician runs down the few. He came from way out of it. I mean, way out of it. And he inhaled the few in the late stages of that race. And we all know how good she is. Uh, just a remarkable performance off a five month layoff to win a race like that. Magic indeed. The fact that the few, you know, ran a winning race in that in that race, and the fact that he was able to run her down, coming from the clouds, I mean, coming from that far back on that uh, on that turf course, to me was just a tremendous performance.